Brazil, the starting lineup for the Titans, Bakari Alexander and Walter Kraft in the front court as they start with a three guard set. Rashad Phillips, Desmond Ferguson, and Jermaine Jackson. Jackson had 17 points, played 39 minutes in their round one win over UCLA. Jim O'Brien in his second season at Ohio State has taken very little time to turn the program around. 32 and 30 his record now. His starting lineup Jason Singleton and Ken Johnson. He'll also start with a three guard set. John Sanderson out of the starting lineup tonight. Brian Brown, Michael Red, and Scooney Penn. Penn, the co player of the year in the Big Ten, along with Mateen Cleaves of Michigan State, averaging 16.7 points per game and more than four assists. But a big story in this game will be Penn's health. He's been banged up lately and hasn't played as well. John Cal, the lead official. He's working with Tom Lopes and Tom Harrington. Detroit in red. And Walter Kraft controlled the tip, and Jermaine Jackson saved it. And Sean McDonough, after I get out from under the table, I thought he was going to hit me. Ohio State goes, minute. A little trap on the side. Bakari Alexander, not much of a score, but a great role player. Jermaine Jackson missed a three. The battle for the rebound, controlled in the corner by Scooney Penn. Terrific guards on both sides, containing particularly Scooney, very important for Detroit. And the writer's choice as the player of the year in the Big Ten, and the coaches selected Mateen Cleaves. Michael Red missed a jumper. It was saved by Johnson, but saved to Jermaine Jackson of Detroit. Desmond Ferguson missed a three. And that's his game, too. A little check out. And a foul. This is the third meeting all time between these two schools. They haven't played since 1962. Ohio State won both meetings in 62 and another one in 1960. Detroit comes in having won 18 of its last 20. With a history against Big Ten schools not good. 29 wins and 111 losses all time against the Big Ten, including 0 2 this year, losses to Michigan and Iowa. 2-3 zone look and first gets another look. He can light it up. They better be concerned about those open opportunities. No score more than a minute in. Penn, the junior from Salem, Massachusetts, transferred in from Boston College and sat out last year. Incredible what one guy can do to a program, though. Particularly at the point position. Followed by a sore lower back, he threw the ball up toward the rim, and Johnson was there to score the first bucket of the game. I think it was a pass, though, don't you? Great field, dragged guys, and then delivered. Basket was scored by Singleton. There's Phillips trying a three, and it rattles out to Johnson. So Detroit is scoreless. They survived two long stretches without a field goal last night against UCLA. Penn steps into a three. Well, if he ever starts feeling healthy, Jim O'Brien felt for about five weeks playing as well as any guard in the country, then that injury up at Penn State. The last regular season game of the year fell on his tailbone. His scoring's been down. His quickness has been noticeably reduced. And an offensive foul called against Bakari Alexander. Is he ran over red, and as you can hear, there are a lot of Ohio State fans here. Not a long drive from Columbus. So you're at the Value Arena, don't you? Value City Arena? Mm -hmm. The beautiful new home of the Ohio State Buckeyes, which opened earlier this season. But Detroit's like a team. You say, well, look down there. The uniforms aren't as sharp looking as ours, but they get after you, and they play hard defense. Seven minutes without a field goal in the first half last night and five minutes to start the second half without a field goal and still beat UCLA. So this little drought isn't likely to rattle them. But right now it's seven to nothing as Michael Red scored inside. And he just kept the dribble alive. Extraordinary. Jackson who was the Midwestern Collegiate Conference Player of the Year. Now Phillips was first team all conference. And they settle with Jackson. A reach in. It's poked away by Brian Brown. Dangerous though you wait for that TV timeout with a team as good as this you can have your problems a little bit of hand action the strip and how about the ability to gather a little kiss at the end Michael Red's got quick delicate hands. Rashad Phillips 
Not a good shot. That was a very long three. Penn down the lane. Dished off. He thought that Singleton was going to remain in the corner, but Jason started toward the bucket. That nice avoiding of the charge, too. Good body control as Scooney got down the lane. The first turnover committed by Ohio State. They lead seven to nothing. Long way to go to get to the start of that Connecticut New Mexico game mm -hmm. earlier today when UConn got out to a 17 to nothing lead before the Lobos scored. And Brian Brown outside doing a nice job so so far on Jermaine Jackson talented with the dribble. He was called for the foul there his first and the team second. How about his first start against Murray State I mean, a little bit of surprise that he gets two in a row playing a lot smaller. John Sanderson started most of the year but Brian Brown was inserted in a lineup two nights ago. They're still scoreless the Titans as Alexander missed and Kraft couldn't control the rebound. Penn the pull up along with a three point try Jackson the rebound and even though he's a guard Jermaine is their leading rebounder at six and a half per game. He was fourth in their conference. And he has four rebounds already tonight. Good screen. Here comes the double, Sean. Phillips couldn't get around Brown. Kraft picked off a pass that might have been intended for Ferguson. Alexander swatted by Johnson and out of bounds. And a little whoop as well. Boy, interior defense like that, Sean, it's going to be awfully hard. They're going to have to settle for jump shots, Detroit. Ohio State pitching the shutout in our first timeout. And knowing the hard work, uh, different atmosphere. And I think that trip to Europe under Rick Boyages for him running the point has certainly helped him adjust. And Penn said that was the toughest part of last year. Not just the not playing, but going in after tough losses when the team played so hard and seeing the look on their faces, wanting to be able to do something to help them, but he couldn't. Ohio State patient on this possession. Detroit is now 0 for 8 from the floor. The foul on Jermaine Jackson is his first. Brown a strong drive. Singleton the putback. And he'll go to the line. Jason Singleton one of three Buckeyes from Detroit. Ken Johnson and Shamar Heron also from Detroit Singleton and Jermaine Jackson played AAU ball together. And Sean when you see this just look at all the help and it's going to free up Brown in the corner. I mean, they're concentrating so much here. He's got the opportunity now, the little screen, the blow by, the unfavorable kiss release, but inside position by Singleton. He made the first. He was just a 56 and a half percent free throw shooter. Jason's a senior. He needs 14 points tonight to reach a thousand for his career. Prior to this season, Singleton and the other senior Deshaun Coleman who's out of action tonight with strep throat have lost twice as many games at Ohio State as they had won over their first three years. They're the only two seniors to stick it out as five who would have been in the same class as Singleton and Coleman were asked to leave by Jim O'Brien as he tried to clean up the program on and off the court. Said they have confidence now. Red tees it up and Michael Red missed the runner. And he got called for a reach in foul on the follow up activity. First foul on Red, the third on the team for complete tournament coverage with live scores, stats, and more. Check out Tournament Live only at cbs.sportsline.com or in America Online. Enter keyword CBS Sportsline. Uh, pitching a shutout now, you got to make sure you get something with the dribble drive. So I don't think he can settle outside. Five and a half minutes into the game, Detroit has not scored. 0 for 8 from the floor, five of them three point attempts, and Scooney Penn called for riding Rashad Phillips. That's the first on Scooney. I have to give a little bit of ground. Rashad, very clever with the dribble. Phillips getting blow by him. They go zone on all the out of bounds, Ohio State. Otari Alexander to Rashad Phillips. With the hairdo and the number three, invites comparisons to Allen Iverson. There's a block. Alexander had it blocked by Jason Singleton. Rashad Phillips says, My father is my role model, Virgil Phillips, not Allen Iverson. 
His father brings a ton of kids during the course of the year to the games at Callahan Hall. Brings them based on merit. He works with youth groups, and if they can pass reading tests and mm -hmm. similar other activities, then he'll bring them to a Titan game. Terrific, and of course, he's a great example for the kids. Worked hard to become a player and a student. Jackson missed. More than six minutes in now. The Titans still have not scored, but as we said, they had two droughts just like this one last night and survived to beat UCLA because the defense was so good. 56 53 was the final. Red, strong drive. That's a charge, and that's the second foul on Michael Red. So you take 8 0 down with Red having two if you're Perry Watson. A little over penetration. Scooty Penn earlier wisely avoided by sliding by, but right here, no try to slide by or pull up, establish a pivot foot, and Jimmy O'Brien live it. So he got fouled before he made the contact. The Reds going out. He's replaced by Boban Savovic, number 21, the freshman from Yugoslavia. Daniel Y has come in for Detroit, where number 15. He had a memorable final two minutes last night. Got all four of his points in the last two minutes, including a memorable runner with the shot clock running out. Here's Y. He's going to hoist a three and rattled out. Couldn't get it to go. Jackson ahead to Phillips. Phillips pass deflected away by Singleton. Tom Harrington says out of bounds. Last touch by Detroit. Pretty good balance against that break. I thought maybe it should have gone back to Detroit. But down the other end, Perry Watson's players very attentive to stepping in and picking up a charge. Scooney close to one on the last trip. Looking down to seven minutes played, eight nothing. Ohio State. Penn. Ohio State squandering a, an opportunity here to bury Detroit early, perhaps. Ferguson tried to surprise Brown from behind. Here's Sabovich, who spent one year of high school ball in New Jersey. In Newark at East Side, where he was living with his uncle after coming over from Yugoslavia. Brown back to Singleton. Solid. Solid. Open up face. Use the dribble wisely. Very well done. Jason Singleton, a big story early. He averages nine points per game. He has five already. And it's 10 zip Buckeyes. Jackson had it blocked by Singleton. Brown off to Penn. What a give up. Really solid. Avoid the defender. Make sure you don't charge. Good give back. Today, New Mexico's first point came on a free throw against Connecticut with 11:45 left in the first half. We're down to 10:23 left in the first half in this one. A little zone look now. Maybe free up Ferguson. He's trying to find holes in the lane. Rashad Phillips. Finally, with 10-12 left. And when you think of it, it's only a 10-point lead. That's right. The point is well made. Ohio State really could have put the hammer to them. Did they say get right early? It's tough to do that against Detroit. An excellent defensive team. They held UCLA, a team that was averaging 78 points to 53. And Corner, Savovich, rebound Reese. And he was fouled on the putback as he bumped into Daniel Y. First foul on Wall. And all of this with Red with the two fouls, too. So, I mean, there is some advantage to them or for them. It's just their inefficiency at the offensive end. Bigger, tougher up front for Ohio State. You're not going to get anything in there. Brian O'Brien's going to let Red play with the two fouls. Reese missed his first free throw. Ohio State is not a good free throw shooting team at 61 percent. Reese made one out of two. That's his first point for the junior from Columbus who's really bounced around started his collegiate career at South Florida then went to John A. Logan Junior College in Illinois. He was at Columbus State for a year in between he came to Ohio State. Why kept alive the miss, but it was controlled by Penn. 
Bennett Penn with his eighth rebound. He looks spry. You're right. Uh, the lefty released by Phillips. Not the kind of shot you want. Well, to Ohio State. The jumper short by Reddy got his own rebound and missed again. And it's Bakari Alexander hollering as he comes out of the pack with the rebound. Ferguson passed up a three. Ordinarily, that's his game. A couple of early misses might have made him tentative. Not this time. Another miss. One for 16 now. Buckeyes not a heck of a lot better. Jackson deflected the pass out of bounds right to his coach Perry Watson. Pretty good footwork by Perry uh, trying to sidestep that pass, but that's a little weave where they use the high post. He is sold on defense. Sensational high school coach. Terrific assistant ship up at Michigan. <laughs> they brought that Fab Five in on the Steve Fisher. There's the keys to his team are unselfish play at both ends. He says we all beat with one heartbeat. That's the motto in the Detroit program. Shot clock down to six. Red has to go. Decides to hoist a three. That's the weakest part of his game. Reese the offensive rebound and miss. So the Buckeyes continue to squander chances to make it much more difficult on the truck. Reese has been terrific on the glass. Jackson bounce pass to Phillips. The runner a little too strong. Sabovich got a hand on the rebound but couldn't control. And the three wouldn't go for Darius Beelan. And even their good shooters are struggling. What a ball fake by Phillips on his penetration earlier. Well, it's still 13 to 2. 740 left in the first half. Penn fouled on the drive by Phillips. His second. The team's fifth. 